In this video, we're going to cover the group of average functions. So there's several average functions that we can use. You can see here I'm going to go over four of them. So let's start with the first one, uh, the average function here. What we want to do here in this instance is get the average of these five numbers. So what we can do is type equal sign, average, or if you like to use the insert function menu, which I like to do, we can just type that in and we can get the function arguments. So for the average, it's basically fairly simple. For this first field, we just want the average of these five values. Once we click OK, that will give us our average of, average of 4.2. Now with the average A function, that's a little bit different. The average A function will take the average of the values uh, even if there is text in there. And what it does is if it sees any type of text uh, such as yes, no, um, none, it's going to count that as a zero. But if it sees the value of true, it's going to count it as one. So let's go ahead and give that one a try. So here we go. We'll add the average A function here. We want to get these values and click OK. So now since basically the five values here are the same as when we did average, we have the same average, um, average value. So let's say, for example, now we decide to put the word none. Uh, the, there was no times that this customer accessed this today. So what it does is once you put the word none, it creates, it basically equals zero. And that's why we have a 4.0. Now if you type the word true, true is the only text that true indicates the number one. And if you see true, it becomes 4.2. So that's like as before we had the number one. Now notice when we changed the value here to text, our average value became 5. So what it did with the average is the denominator, it just had four values. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 4 is 5. Whereas we had the average A value, which is this 20 plus true which equals the number one makes it 21 divided by five so there's because there's five values to divide it by so we can look at it this way the average was 24 equals 20 divided by this value that gives us our five and since we had 21 here and we used all five for the denominator and we divide that by that gives us a 4.2 so again why would we want to use average A so say for example we had instances where we had the numbers of the times access was 5, 4 and sometimes we don't have the, the number 0 sometimes people put none or no and basically we wanted to count that as a 0 and what, my, what Excel does is it does indicate that that text is a zero. So there's instances where you want to use average A um, in, area, in times where you have a range and instead of a zero you see none or no and that actually would calculate the average correctly. So let's make that back into a one and we try to use go into our next example for the average if. So what average if does, if you've seen the other videos that I've done, is it will give you an average based on some criteria. So let's bring this up. Let's bring this up. Now average if, we don't have it here, so I'll go ahead and search for it. And there we go, average if. Now what average if would do is you want to select the criteria range. So let's say that we want to select um, the criteria range here and the number of access allowed where it is equal to no 
and based on that we want to average only those where e this is this range is equal to no and once it finds those rows where there's a no it would average those values so for example it's going to average it will be 5 plus 1 plus 5 divided by 3 that will give us 3.667 so that's just one criteria the average ifs function gives you multiple multiple criteria so let's find the average ifs function here it's not here so we'll go ahead and type it average ifs so now this is a little bit different word it's asking for the average range which 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 range do we want to do the average on so we're going to do the average on this range the criteria range let's go back and use the access allowed we'll also go back and say no but at the same time we want a second criteria range and we're going to use this one and let's just say the second criteria range we want to find the average of the values which have no in the access allowed and the access level we have as standard so what it's going to do it's it's going to average these two, these these two 6 divided by 2 is 3 so that gives us our average ifs so here are some examples of the different average functions you can use in Excel 2007 hope this helps thanks for watching